welcome back. Um, sorry it's been a while. Uh, I've had some issues with my mobility, so I've not been moving particularly well and not been able to get into the workshop particularly well. When I have had any sort of motion, I've been keeping back the weeds. Uh, if I remember, here's a picture of uh, how the railway went when I went on holiday. Um, it's still over overgrown in places, but uh, it's just taking a bit of keeping on top of all the weeds coming through. So, where are we now? It's, uh, it's Imlek weekend, and I've just made a first stop on the way to Bristol uh, at the services. Um, my back won't let me do the whole journey in one hit, so I stopped to grab a coffee. Uh, but and I can only make it as a day trip today, so I've only got today's um, my run and and a few bits that are going on today. Hopefully, will be coming up. Uh, in the meantime, a couple of weeks ago, I was at Graves, Graves End Club. Take a look at, at the Britannia running around there, and I'll catch up with you at the next stop. I hope you like that. Um, I'm another hour and a half up the road now. Uh, just remembered I did do a little bit in the to the workshop rather than in the workshop. I've repainted the uh, the door. Simple little thing, but that's why I haven't shown you really a video because it's not that interesting. Here's a picture. Looking a lot better now. Let's hope I remember to put that one in as well. Um, so I've got another half hour or so to go before we get to Bristol and let's take a look at uh, a little clip of a practice run with Tornado ready for today. So enjoy! It's 
just starting to spit with rain. So that could make the day interesting. Um, let's see what's going on.
full cut off, what's happening there is it's at 75% of cut off, which means that steam is being admitted from the boiler. There'll be slightly differences here. Especially in the middle, he won't go anywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Spending all my life with, you know, car mechanic for a yeah. living. So that was about all I took, or well, that was all I took uh, video-wise uh, on Saturday. Um, it's now Monday, uh, I thought I'd wait until the final results had come through before finishing this video. Uh, I was really happy with my run, great run, loco ran like a dream, um, did everything I could have wanted of it. Um, my results, I was a bit iffy about the numbers didn't really add up to what I'd actually done um, but before I get onto that what is IMLEC the International Model Locomotive Efficiency Competition we run for a nominal half an hour sort of between 25 and 35 minutes uh, and the drawbar load is measured by a dynamometer car we measure the amount of coal we burn we get given a weighed quantity and we weigh what we give back that we don't burn at the end. So from that you can work out the work done by the loco and the energy that's gone into the loco. So you can then get uh, a thermal efficiency of the engine. Um, my run, say brilliant run, but when I look at the results, at the end of day, that, that day I went into second place behind Alex. He had a cracking run with his engine. Lovely, lovely run. Great engine, another great engine. Um, but my figures, when I compare it to some of the other people that ran, uh, I did higher mileage, more, more distance, and with a bigger load, 
than some that some of the engines that finished higher above me. Uh, the engines that finished second and third, especially. Bigger loads, longer distance, but I had less work done, which doesn't add up. Uh, but never mind, the, we think there was a dyno monitor car issue during the day. Certainly at the end of the day, the car got, the last couple of runs got abandoned because the car had failed. And uh, yeah, they will, they got rerun on, or run on Sunday. Winners, um, Marcus Peel, he won with his uh, LMS Stania Mogul. Uh, we think it's a scaled up Princess Marina. And uh, I think um, Ben Pavia and Lionel Flippants were second and third. Uh, best three and a half was Roger Hopkins with a three and a half uh, L LMS 4F. So great day for the LMS. Um, well done to both of you and well done to everyone who takes part and well done to every club that hosts. Um, it doesn't matter if things go wrong but it's nice if they don't. Um, you've just got to be honest and open when it goes wrong which I don't think they've been particularly but we'll find out when they put their report into the magazine. So. That was it, that's, that's my piece done. I hope you've enjoyed uh, Imlek and, and a little catch up on what I've been doing and why I haven't been posting much. Hopefully, I'm, I'm seeing the osteo regularly now. The, my second appointment with her is on Wednesday coming up. Hopefully with a couple more sessions with her, I should start to feel like I'm capable of doing more. Uh, at which point I can actually get the pom-pom painted. Um, if anyone's got any suggestions for paints, um, please do say. Uh, I would normally go Phoenix. Um, I did overhear a conversation at Gravesend that said they've changed their paint formula and it's not as good as it used to be. Don't know if that's true, I haven't used it for a while. Uh, so if anyone can sh shed some light. I do like to spray. Uh, I don't, I'm not a brush painter. Um, so if anyone's got any other recommendations for a paint that I can spray, do let me know. I might give it a try. So, um, yeah, and the, and the boiler for the other Ginty, in a couple of weeks' time, hopefully I'll have a Sunday free when I can take it to the club and heat it up and have a go at soldering it. But in the meantime, I hope you've enjoyed. I hope I haven't bored you to death at the end here. I know it's been a bit of a long piece to camera. Um, but yeah, I will hopefully see you soon thanks very much